Hello, everyone. Here is Angie. Today, I'm gonna do the midterm test review one, EDMS. And, uh, uh, and this video is not only for me to review my test because I have my test two days later and this is not only, not only for me to review but I also want to share notes to everyone so I will put it to my YouTube channel my English is not that well so forgive me <laughs> okay I gonna start it so firstly, we are gonna look this part. Organizational behavior, this also is uh, what we have to learn firstly. So this is the definition of uh, organizational behavior. It is a field of study devoted to understanding, explaining, and ultimately improving the attitude, behavior, and effectiveness of individuals and groups in organization. And uh, uh, for this definition, we have to be more focusing on it has uh, it has understanding what it has understanding, explaining, and and after we do understanding and explaining, then we know more details. We can improving our effectiveness. So that's why we have to learn uh, organizational behavior. Also, this is uh, of individuals and group in an organization. So, if it's not uh, in, or in an organization, they, we don't have to, we have to focus on this is on in organization. So, uh, there are three factors of organizational behavior. We also call it elements or um, levels whatever so firstly is individuals group and organization in in midterm we only gonna test uh, individuals but we also have to know what's the difference between group and uh, organization so individuals is individuals is micro and uh, it's more talking about job performance and the organizational commitment Um, we have to focus the job performance because we have to learn a lot of things from job performance. It, it, it also is very useful. And then what? And then is group. What is group? Is group is a number of individuals work together. And organization is a group of people regularly working together to achieve a common goal. So. So, group, I will say, is more, group is more focusing on self-interest. They always put self-interest first, just like, uh, oh, sorry. They always, ow, put self-interest first, it's just individuals. But the difference between individuals and the group is, group is a uh, number of individuals, individuals is individuals. And uh, organization, and organization. Uh, there is an example for group and uh, organization. Group is like uh, um, a small business, like you open a shop in Alibaba, and this is a group. You always put the self interest first because you want to do a uh, better task performance than others that you get to promote but in organization for example hospital you always put um, your customer first uh, you you won't say oh i want to promote i want to be promoted so i gonna uh, serve some i gonna serve people uh, which is rich yeah I'm not sure my explaining you understand, but I will try my best. And then it's for measures of, uh, it's not experience, let me see. To, it's for methods of understanding OB. OB, what is OB? Just uh, organization behavior. So, so methods one is experience. 
but um, experience is easy to understand because it's just a learning from the past. You, this is key term. You, if you're learning from the past, then you will know ex experience. For example, uh, I'm not sure how many people play League of Legends, but uh, when you play top, when you play top, if uh, oh, when you play top, if someone is in the jungle, for example, if uh, your enemy is Garen and uh, he is in the jungle. You you go you go here you go here first first times, and uh, and wait 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 wait. And the Garen kill you. And uh, and you dad. And you you go and 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 you go here twice. You know Garen is still in this in this jungle, so you won't go. You will choose the other way to go. So that's experience. So the second. Uh, the second one is institution. It re relies on our guns and uh, emotions and uh, instinct. In this sentence, is book uh, is from the textbook. It's just stand to reasons. Um, this is for example, if your boy, if you your boyfriend look at his phone and he's smiling. Then you ask your boyfriend, "What? What is so funny?" And uh, your boyfriend says, "No, uh, no, there is no funny things." Then you will understand. Ah, they gonna, and he gonna be treat on others. Maybe I'm not sure. <laughs> and uh, the fourth one is authority. Authority is some some respect to the official or source that has a say so what that mean is like if the government says they, they will have an earthquake uh two months later then you gonna running out of toronto because you know um the government will not will not cheat on you yeah and uh, the fourth one also is the most important and uh, we use most oftenly as methods of science and there have two uh there have two ways of methods of science the first one is systematic study is a tribute to causes and effects and the, the second one is more important uh, uh, oh and the uh, one thing I forget to say is systematic study is for to uh, predict the OB and uh, then is uh, EBM we also call it evidence based based management it is the way to use data and evidence to explain and prove so the the process is you you have the theoretic and uh, you gonna uh, do this and then after you do do this you will know the data and after you know the data you can uh, ex explain it and uh, you got the verification and uh, your verification will tell you your zero is right or not and uh, and if you say this is not not enough or need to improve then you will um, bring your new bring your new idea and try again and try again and try again and until you get the best one and then it's research methods in OB um, the first one is field study. It's in real field study. It's in real life study. Uh, in in real life organization. Uh, is there there is um uh, for example 